Community members say a young boy was killed tonight while riding a bike. This happens less than 24 hours after a nine-year-old boy was shot to death. Fox 2's Zara Barker joins us now from police headquarters with what we know about these heartbreaking incidents, Zara. Tonight, I talked with multiple community members at a crime scene on the intersection of Hodama and Etzel, and they just kept asking, where is the outrage? Where is the outrage in this community for a nine year old child shot and killed while driving with his parents and his younger brother? Now, here's a look from a, that crime scene on the intersection of Hodama and Etzel. This all happened around six o'clock tonight, and that crime scene was shortly cleared right after. You're looking at video from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. Now, we're waiting to hear back from police on what happened happen at this scene, but we saw a medical examiner and watched authorities load a bicycle into a police van. Now community members on scene say a young boy was killed. We're still working to confirm that with police. Now just 20 hours before this scene, nine year old Kayon Green was shot and killed while riding in the car. His grandmother tells us they were bringing her food when two people shot at their car, killing the fourth grader. Police say it was a case of mistaken identity. Now on tonight's scene, community members begged to stop the killings. You know, you got kids planning to go to college and high school and stuff. Our kids ain't even making it to the eighth grade. And it's becoming an everyday thing, like a, like a norm. No, no, we're not going to make it a norm. The community need to be outraged. Y'all be outraged about everything else. And police are still searching for the shooters in Kayon's death. If you know anything about either incident, you're urged to contact authorities or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. Live from police headquarters tonight, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.